Happy fall, socialites. And if you're new here, I'm Ariel. I do mainly beauty videos, fragrance, and occasional lifestyle. So if those are the type of videos you enjoy watching, I would love for you to hit the subscribe button and come join the family. So in today's video, we're gonna be trying a brand that's new to me. It's been around for a little while, but it's new to me. And the brand is OG or IG. Now I did haul these products a while ago. So let's test them out. Comment down below, let me know if you've tried any Anything from the brand or if you've been interested in trying anything from the brand as we move along let me know what you think about these products and let's just jump right into it okay socialite so I have done my skincare earlier this morning basically just washed it and put a little moisturizer on it but I still want to try out this elixir vitamin C it says THDA 20% I'm not quite sure what that means to be honest but this is how it looks their packaging is really nice and looks by the way i think i told you guys that like when i first hauled this stuff so many months ago comes in this little dropper form so we're just going to use a few drops of this like just a little bit and press this into our skin and i'm going to give it like a couple minutes before i go in with any other products while this is soaking in a second let me read you guys a little bit about the brand perfect the appearance of no makeup makeup with our certified organic line the sheer color and subtle shimmer allow for a buildable glow to accentuate natural features certified organic all natural cruelty free gmo free gluten free Okay, so if you're looking for a clean brand, this may be an option for you. You know, this brand kind of reminds me of a little bit Merit. And Merit, when they sent over their makeup, they also had that uh, serum. That's like an oil type serum that you put on before you use that stick complexion stick, which actually helps the stick to sort of glide on better. And just, I get a better application when I use that. So looks like they have a liquid foundation. It's a complexion perfecting tinted serum, but I actually have the stick form. They do have a perfecting powder that comes in a compact. I didn't get the powder though. They also have a mascara, they have a brush cleaner, they do have some lip products too. So, so let's go in with the complexion stick. I have the shade 8.5 Maple, so I'm hoping this shade works. Looks like it has a good amount of coverage. It says that their products are sheer. But we'll blend it and see because it looks like it has a decent amount of coverage. So we'll start at the bottom and then sort of work our way up with what's left on the brush. So they also sent over a complexion brush. The hairs are really soft and sturdy enough to get a good application. It's not like super sturdy like one of the... Um, one of the real techniques brushes if you have something like this is not as sturdy as this it's a little softer than that if you use the uh, elf liquid blush brush this is one of my newest favorite brushes to use for foundation it's not as sturdy as this so you know just so that you guys can know what you're getting and as compared to the size the size is almost the same the OG one or IG one seems to be a little bit bigger but like I said this one is a little bit more sturdy and because this one is more sturdy this one is going to give you like that better coverage as well so let's try this one out so this is one of those more drier formulas a little bit matte so this is probably one that you want to apply and blend immediately. And now I see why the oil was included as well because it's going to help with that blend. I think the color looks okay. It's not as rich as my natural color, but it's okay. I can make it work with the rest of the products. Like after I go in and bronze and everything, I can make it work. So because it's a little bit drier, it's not one of those where you can sort of use what's on here or what's left and go here because it's already kind of dry a little bit at that point. So I'm just going to do like one, two little swipes. There's no scent to it. What do you guys think about the color and the coverage? 
I'm thinking it gives like medium, like medium-ish. So I don't know if they have concealer. They didn't send me a concealer. So let's use this. I've been using this pretty much for the most, most of the month, which is the MAC Studio Radiance 24 hour luminous lift concealer this is their latest concealer they just launched y'all mac has really been coming out with some products one of the socialites said that um because i had posted in the community tab that their lip liners were 40 percent off and they said they have new shades in it so i need to check out those new shades and they have some new lipstick formulas so Maybe we'll check those out next week. And they also sent over the Sculpted Face Stick. And so it looks like similar to the packaging of the foundation. The foundation packaging is a different color. Um, and this one is in copper. So I think it'll be deep enough because the concealer is so radiant, how it's reflecting, it just, almost seems like it stays wet a little bit doesn't really dry down so I'll let that sit for a little bit and and the stick is like feels like the same sort of uh, texture as the foundation stick which is a little bit more on the drier side it's not like super emollient when it comes to like a sculpting product like a bronzer or a contour product I don't mind it being a little bit more on the dry side because it sort of keeps it in that area a little bit more if you get what I mean you know so instead of when you blend in it it goes too far down or too far up it sort of stays in that area because it is a little bit more on that dry side Taking my little Morphe puff, the little finger. It's not a puff. This almost feels like, you know, like the top of a microphone a little bit. That's sort of what it reminds you of, but it fits in your finger. It came in a three pack from Ulta. So I'm just taking the same foundation brush. It has a little residue from the foundation and I'm just gonna blend that in between the concealer and the contour just to give it a more seamless blend. I feel like because of the texture and consistency of these products, it may be long lasting, but I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. One size powder. This one is in ultra pink. This is like one of my top three favorite powders, you guys. The formula and the shade. I love this. I had to put it away for a while because it had become the only powder I was using, um, but I really, really like this. And I'm going to take one of my little puffs one size just launched a foundation too it's a full coverage foundation it's supposed to give you like that beat face makeup look comment down below if you guys want to see a review of that because otherwise i'm gonna wait <laughs> for the sephora sale which should be coming up in october i can wait on that because those aren't necessarily my go-tos or my favorite type of foundation. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be a nice foundation though. I watched his video on just like the whole process of coming out with it, like the thought process of it. And he just basically formulated the foundation for those who want that full coverage makeup look, who really like to play in makeup and just really beat their face you know in that way so okay let's bring some life back to this face <laughs> taking my sephora micro smooth powder this one's in the shade oh wrong color this one's mahogany this one's my face shade ebony is the one that i'm looking for it's just a little bit deeper and i'm gonna take this real techniques blush brush it's like a big fluffy brush for the bronzer because i wanted a little bit more blown out not just like you know chiseled and if you want like that blown out cheek or bronzer or contour look the easiest way is to use something big and fluffy and if you want it a little bit more like defined and structured use something smaller and more precise maybe like um maybe like this contour brush this gives you like more precision so we're going for blown out, so I'll use fluffy today. Not sure if the sale is still going on, but I did see yesterday that Real Techniques had 30 or 40% off of, I think, all of their brushes at Ulta. 
and um, I love their brushes by the way they're already affordable so for 30 40 percent off it may be worth taking a look you guys they also sent over a blush and this one is in rose quartz so let me see what this feels like yep it's still on that like drier side let me swatch it so that's rose quartz let's see how this looks on hopefully it blends on top of powder on my skin tone this is giving really subtle which i don't mind and there's a little bit of sheen to it like a little bit of iridescence not a whole lot and this you definitely want to blend right away like one cheek at a time because it is on that drier side sculpted face stick in opal so same packaging and it looks like a white color so i'll put it next to the pink blush so we can really see so yeah it's just one of those so let's see hopefully it doesn't look ashy on my skin now this i'll go ahead and use my fingers to blend because we want this to stay like right here so this sort of highlight is a little bit too pale for my personal taste. And maybe I should try it with some different products or maybe a different way, maybe even underneath the powder instead of on top of the powder. So I'm just gonna put probably just a little wash of brown in my crease. This is the MAC 217 blending brush. For eyeliner, I'm gonna use my Tom Ford eyeliner pen. My Dior Lash Primer. I wanted to try the primer with a different mascara because I tried it with the Dior Show mascara and it really did make my lashes pop. But let's test it out this time with a different mascara. We're gonna do the YSL Lash Clash. And I'm gonna use my Fenty Hella Thick for the bottom. So let's brighten a little bit with my Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder. This one's in the shade Two Medium. And this is a fluffy, sort of small morphe brush that i got in a set i don't think it has a number it's like one of those that came in like an eight eight piece set so for lips i'm just gonna do a gloss for me this one is more like a bomb and a gloss but more of a bomb than a gloss <laughs> if you get what i mean and this is the um georgie armani prisma I think they're called Prisma Glasses. And this one's in the shade 05. So comment down below, let me know what you think. Also, let me know if you've tried any of the products from OG or IG before. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the demo. If you're new here, welcome. I would love for you to come join the family by hitting the subscribe button. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Cause I've been where you are. You're too scared to show me love. Cause too fresh with the scars.